Hello! I want to make a Plex server. I want to make a dedicated computer, but I want it to be small and not as power hungry. I was digging through my collection of old computers that I have, and I came across this guy. This is an eMachines EL1300G 01W. This is from 2009. Uh, originally came with Windows Vista. Uh, it has an AMD Athlon 2650E processor, uh, 160 gigabyte hard drive. It says two gigabytes of DDR2 memory, but this in fact has four. So four gigabytes of DDR2 memory, as well as a uh, DVD-ROM. Now I wanted to use this computer, and I wiped the hard drive. I reinstalled instead of Windows Vista. I did Windows 7. Unfortunately, it was just too slow. It was unusable. Opening Plex took about 30 seconds, and that's, that's too much time. This as-is, not going to work. However, what I would like to do is open it up, see what's in it, see what we want to keep, get rid of what we don't, and throw in some faster, newer components that uh, would hopefully give us a better Plex experience than this can as-is. So yeah, let's take a look, shall we? So let's take apart this computer and see what we got inside. It has just three screws holding on the side panel and the side panel is actually also part of the bottom panel. There we go, and then we give that a little slide and there we go. The side panel is also the bottom panel. Great. All right, and here inside we have, this is our AMD Athlon 2650E underneath here, AM2 socket, 4 gigabytes of DDR2 memory stuck in there. We have a DVD-ROM drive. The hard drive is back in there. Uh, the motherboard is uh, not quite micro ATX, but it's not mini ITX, uh, and it has a lot of spots for components that just weren't included here. For example, a PCI Express, it has the Times 1, but it doesn't have the X16. It has uh, three USB headers for the front panel. Uh, the front panel, by the way, has uh, five USB-A's A ports, as well as an SD card slot and a uh, compact flash, plus your headphone microphone. I would love to utilize these uh, for the Plex server if we can, because uh, SD, USB, and compact flash would be very helpful. Oh, and this is the power supply. This is a, a Flex ATX uh, power supply. It's a 220 watt power supply. I did look into replacements for this and I did find a 320 watt one. I might get that if I'm not happy with this. But let's go ahead and take this, this chassis off. This part here contains the DVD drive and the hard drive and it all comes off in one piece. Uh, but first, our front panel, we just got these three tabs. I'm going to pop that off. And then to pull out this front caddy we have this screw here and this screw over here. There we go. I'm going to disconnect the power and the SATA cable for the the two drives. Can't quite reach the hard drive. There we go. Okay. So there's a DVD-ROM drive and then our 160 gigabyte hard drive, which is conveniently mentions right there. You can see it quite easily. Okay. Uh, so we'll put that off to the side over here for now. But here we go. We can see the the RAM slots a little easier. CPU power over here. We're going to go ahead and undo that. Undo that ATX as well. There we go. Front panel I.O. headers here, the push button and the LED light. We're going to get rid of, we're going to unplug those. Uh, front panel audio over here. And that's, that's all the connectors off this motherboard. Let's go ahead and take out this board. There's uh, six screws holding it in. The, the standard four here for a uh, mini ITX form factor plus two more over here like you would find in a full ATX motherboard but just half the height Okay, there it is. It's going to go off to the side. 
Okay, so all that's left in here right now is our 220 watt power supply and then our front panel. Oh, and uh, IO shield for that last motherboard. Okay, well now that we have this gutted, we're going to take a look at the components that we're going to put inside of this and build up our Plex server. These are all the components that are going in the case to make up our Plex server. And so we're going to go through everything one by one just to show it off. First, our motherboard. This is an MSI H110i Pro uh, Mini ITX motherboard. This supports Gen 6 Intel processors, and there's a specific reason for that. I have an older Intel Pentium G4400 CPU. Uh, we're going to be using a stock Intel cooler on this Pentium. I don't expect it to get super hot, so this should be more than enough. When it comes to RAM, I have not one but two sticks of G-Skill RipJaws 5 DDR4. Uh, this is uh, 2400 megahertz. Uh, each stick is four gigabytes, so I have a total of eight gigabytes of RAM to put in there. Our SSD for the operating system is this uh, Samsung 850 Evo, 250 gigabytes. And for our bulk storage for whatever media I'm going to be putting on this machine, not everything is going on it because I do have a NAS, which unfortunately cannot run Plex on its own. It does have a majority of stuff on it that I can stream through Plex, so that's what I plan to do. But the other bulk storage will be this Seagate one terabyte hard drive. However, if I put this in its normal spot, uh, I would have to put a two and a half inch SSD and a five and a quarter bay slot, which I'm not going to do. So I have two adapters here. This is a three and a half inch to five and a quarter adapter, mounting adapter, so my main hard drive can go in that slot, like so. And that frees up the three and a half inch slot underneath, which I will use this adapter with the SSD. Put the SSD in this and then into this, but that seems over and that seems overly complicated, so I'm not going to. But yeah, those are the components that are going in the computer at the moment.